Hello everybody, this is Poop and Hammer, and we are playing Feed the Beast Modded Minecraft. Last time we spent way too much time setting up this steam boiler, but I am happy to report that we are actually gaining peat, which is great, great, great. I am in the process right now of making a steam turbine to start our EU off of this steam boiler, since we have a lot of extra steam. Um, making all of the steel and everything for that turbine, I've gotten a lot of creosote oil. So I have created, well not created, but made, a cement fluid generator, and it actually burns off some of the creosote, 3000 EU, 8 EU a tech. Um, and underneath, uh, I think it's right here, I have M. M MFSU just slowly charging. So I will eventually hook up the steam turbine right here and that'll go right into it as well. Another little pet project that I have been working on is upgrading my jetpack. So I have all the parts here. Finally, this took a lot of resources. First things first, we need to make these. Yeah, we can't do that. Uh, engine boosters? Yeah, two of these. Now, the wonderful, wonderful thing. Wonderful thing about this advanced jetpack, not only does it have the EU of a advanced lap pack, it actually will drain out of the uh, this advanced jetpack when I'm using these tools. Okay, I think I gotta turn it on somehow. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's see here. Options, controls. Boost key is left control, okay. Or F. Jetpack on. Okay, we can do hover mode on and off. There we go, that's perfect, and it actually makes a little noise too. And we can actually see <laughs> if the jetpack is on, uh, how much energy is left in it, as opposed to going, like, oh, I'm falling to my death. So that is great, great, fantastic. And our tools have a lot more of a. It's like I have an advanced lap pack on right now. So that's great, great, great. These bad boys are still churning at a good eight. MJ is a second. I replaced all of the gold with these redstone. And we actually have a little bit of a surplus right now. Um, have we gotten around to fixing this? So, remember how two episodes ago I said we're going to be doing some advanced B stuff? Well, now is that time. Um, hold on a minute. Let me just patch up this floor. Okay, so we now have a full platform. So what are all of these? We first have the isolator. Now all of the bees have traits. Let me just pull one of these up. And you can take, you can isolate each and every one of them and put them into a serum. You can cancel out their, you can grab their effect, you can get their large area, fertility, flowers, pollination, speed, lifespan, and even species. You also can take out their temperature tolerance and humidity tolerance. So I've been doing that for a little bit. We have a bunch of serums. We've got a bunch of species up here. Fast productivity serum, high fertility, beautific effect serum. That is the, uh, it's a region effect that you can get. Also have a normal one, cave, and a nocturnal. So once you isolate them, let's grab one of these. See, see how it says empty? 
you can then bring it to the synthesizer. And this will fill this serum up with liquid DNA. Now as you fill it up, you can see how that one said it was uh, average quality. As you fill up the serum, the serum will actually degrade in quality until you fill it up with 16 charges of the max. You have an awful quality at that point. You then put it into the purifier, and that will take the awful quality and bring it all the way up to excellent quality. So, because all of these bees have a Um, they have a dominant, an active, and an inactive trait. You need to use this serum twice on them to knock out both sides if you want to just keep on reproducing the same bee. So I have here a nocturnal serum. You can see they have no on both of these. So we want to turn that into a yes by giving them the nocturnal serum. Um, flyer effect, that means they can fly when it's raining. Cave means they can, uh, if there's something over top of them, they can still, they don't have to have the sky to reproduce. Same thing with this one. These are the exact same bee. One's just a queen, one's just a drone. Now, to get liquid DNA, you need to put them in the gene. Now, if you take your, uh, the gene pool, you put any bee in here. Uh, I would recommend putting bees that you already have analyzed, because you get more liquid DNA out of them. So it just goes like that, it'll go into the little internal tank, and I have a little reserve here. Also whatever's in the tank there. So this is going, see how it's gone down to poor quality already? We've already bumped this up to average quality. Yeah, we are blowing through a lot of our uh, MJs by doing this. So, I want to put Nocturnal on these industrious princesses because I want them to last. They want I want them constantly working. So if we put the bee up there, put the serum here. This will slowly work its way. Yes. There it goes. Slowly inject, and I think it has to do it twice. So I'll bring you back when it's uh, done injecting. Okay, so it started on the drone now. So if we now check the industrious princess, you can see that, boom, nocturnal, yes, yes. That's great. Oh, don't show that. Now, we also want to put these on our Imperials. We kind of want to put this on everything, to be honest. Because we never want them to stop. Just put them on two of those. A little there, and melt those bees up. Another one that I want to put on industrious the uh, drones is this fast productivity serum. So once they're done with that, I'm gonna throw that on those and they're gonna be fast. Which is superb. Sh check right now, make sure they're see they're at only a normal speed. We want them fast. Alright, so we now have 12 steam turbine, steam turbine housings, another multi-blocker. I want to put this right here. Bong! Alright, now need to connect 
it. It's the steam boiler. Let's get some more of the liquid ducts. Took out the uh, the peat fire engine. They finally ran out of juice. So let's get. Let's come over here. Just not enough, aren't I? Oop, I just have enough. Kachunk. Okay, so we now have steam coming into this. We need a rotor. <sighs> Which means more and more steel. Damn this thing being slow. Okay, so we want to make this rotor. We need uh, each of these blades and this block of steel. Block of steel, you put an iron block in the blast furnace. That takes forever. These turbine discs, turbine discs, give you a turbine rotor. So let's turn this bad boy on. See what we get. Oh, output forty five percent. Maybe we need more liquid ducts. Uh, we are got some copper right here, good. No? Okay. Let's bust this out. Wonder if Alright, so let's take this down. It's all about figuring out the optimal. Do something. Let's come down. Well, you know what? Let's just come out right here. Those two. Boom, boom. Damn it. Go. Okay, so we have two coming in. here. 
No, damn it. That and that. Bumped it up a little bit. Oh, it's still going up. 92, 94. Okay. And that's close enough for 100%. Look at that thing whiz up. Excellent! We got EU finally. Ew. That is draining our steam. That's not good. And we'll just go at uh half. Half output. Half output for now. God, that means I gotta probably hook up a second one of these at some point. Well, until I get a different kind of EVU power, because the plan is not to stay on this. This is just a, uh, a temporary. But that's going up at a pretty decent clip. It's like, I think it's. 50 EU attack or something like that? It's pretty decent. Okay. That'll probably do it for today, guys. I need more steel. Um, next time, we're going to set up some EU machines as I continue to be in the background. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.